all I want to say is all of the women in my comments who were dragging me about talking about Jeannie Mai and we're talking about Jeezy ain't this and he ain't that and he ain't no catch and you know uh, I don't support women and I don't this and all of the things that you guys were saying to me about Miss Jeannie Mai. All of y'all owe me an apology. <laughs> okay. I want to see all of you guys come right back and give me an apology for the things that I said in that video. And you want to know why? Because this reminds me uh, very similarly to the Kiki Palmer situation. You see, I may, had a conversation. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with the Kiki thing, okay? I had a conversation with you guys on my channel, and I was talking about the Usher incident, and I was saying, you know, we people look at you in a certain regard, you know, and if your man is saying this, you need to not listen to the crowd. You need to not listen to the sisterhood. If you want to be with that man, you better respect the things that he said and don't, you know, keep it cute, girl. You better go there, apologize, and work it out. You better go get your man before you end up alone. Then when Kiki and her baby father were posted up on social media, a Kiki in for her birthday at lunch, the sisterhood was mad. Oh, you see, this is why I stay out of people's business because we was all supporting for her, for her to go back to that and look like a goofy. When I sit here and I say, Jeannie, Jeannie clearly said she had an attitude problem. She clearly said that there was some kind of issues that was going on that she had to work on. And she knew that if she did not work on those issues, that she would get left, okay? She would be alone. I had the conversation, not just in regards to just Jeannie, but other women who are in this same exact predicament who are possibly on the brink of ruining their own relationships because they got to have the last word. They got to have a sassy attitude. They talking down or at their man instead of talking to him and communicating effectively. They're emasculating their man. When they get into an argument, they hit below the belt and just say anything. There's no boundaries. There's no respect level. I had the whole conversation on the importance of respecting your man because when a man decides that he is going to chuck the deuce and leave... It's very hard to reel him back in. It's better to, to fix it while you're in the house with this man instead of giving him the opportunity to go out there and taste and see. <laughs> okay? Letting him go get, you know, pick different options. Now, now he getting back, you know, when he's in this husband mode, family man mode, it's better to fix that whatever issues you got going on while he in the house with you, while he's willing to work on it with you. Instead of letting him revert back and say, oh, wait, I'm an old player. Wait, hold up. I could have somebody, you know, a different person every day of the week. Hold, let, let me get out of here. Let me remember who I am. You see, once he starts to remember who he is, it's going to be real hard for you to try to reel him back in. You could use a baby as leverage as much as you want to. And that baby is very cute. Okay, that baby is very cute. You can use the family structure. You can use everything as you want for leverage. But you see, once his mind is ticked off from you, it's very hard to hit that switch back on. Very hard. Because no matter how cute you are, how beautiful you are, how, how good you put it down, no matter what, once a man starts to see you in a negative light, all he's going to see is that negativity. He's going to see the negativity in a cute dress. Negativity with a negativity speaking to me with a soft tone. As I'm saying all these things, people, oh, women, oh, you know, you don't like women, you this, you that, oh, how you talking about this? And now it has been reported that she is trying to save her marriage. So he filed 
He said he don't want to be with you and she's trying to save her marriage. Would that not give us an inclination that maybe she has contributed to the demise of the relationship? And now she wants to do whatever she can to salvage it because she knows that she had a strong part to play. A lot of people have reported that, you know, she done moved people in the house. You know, she um she has, you know, walked them to walk the child to school and he don't want nobody to know where they live. Like a lot of people have reported a lot of different things. We haven't heard from the either one of them. But as I said in my primary video, all of the things listed that I just named, they all fall under one umbrella. And that umbrella is respect. If you respect me, you'll respect our space. If you respect me, you'll respect what I say. As your protector, as your leader, as your covering. If you respect me, you won't speak to me in a certain manner. If you respect me, you'll ask me questions before you just have people rolling up in our space. And again, what's so interesting whenever all this happens is that you know, people have so much to say, oh, you know, y'all over there be mad at Jeannie when he ain't no good. You know, he ain't this. Obviously, he's something that she's trying to save her marriage, honey. <laughs> Obviously, so he's some kind of good. When he was, when he put a ring on her finger and all of that before, y'all were talking about, y'all were singing his praises. Talking about how he is such a good man. Now, all of a sudden, when it looks like possibly a woman could be to blame, y'all got to be, oh, as good as a man he is, we got to throw him out. Because she going to make the women look bad and we got to support our women. Now when people have seen that she is now fighting to save her marriage, the sisterhood goes silent. They don't have no opinion. They don't got nothing to say. I'm just in the strong belief that the sisterhood is against um, re uh, rekindling or working on, or fixing, or maintaining. You see, they just want you to be, either be the cookie cutter, perfect picture, and have no slip ups, and nobody don't do nothing wrong, or if somebody does something wrong, you have to quit immediately, abort mission. No saving, no keeping it together, no saving the family, no saving the marriage. Listen, she is doing what she should. If she is trying to save her marriage, that's what she should do. She should try to save it. Because as a woman, when you go out there to that dating world, you have a child, you got, you know, a whole bunch of stuff going on between the two of y'all. You have a whole united front family structure, especially... Him being the good man that, you know, she was singing his praises and saying that he is. She like, okay, let me not, let me, let me not play around. <laughs> the, the joke is when he said that the relationship was going to be done when I did this, I didn't really think he meant it was really going to be done. Let me get it together. Hold up. Oh, this not funny no more. Oh, he said he wanted a divorce. Oh, no. Oh, uh -huh. let me go over here, babe. Hold up. Sorry. Flag on the play. Let's fix this. I'm going to get it together for real this time. I'm not going to mess around. If she's able to fix her, her marriage, I bet you she they're never leaving each other. Okay? If she is able to rekindle, I bet you she is not going to leave him ever. She, It's a strong possibility that she's either going to fall all the way in line... Or, or she going to mess it up and he going to leave again. He can either go one or two ways. What I say before in the previous video about this, either you're going to, uh, either you're going to bend and, and bending is falling in line or you're going to fold. And that's when you mess up, act the fool and then he leave again. That's the only option. That's the only option. I think if she is trying her darndest to save that relationship, um, I think that's good for her. As we know, sometimes it is possible that people can fix it and work through it. And sometimes all that saving that they're trying to do at the end, they should have done while he was still in the house. Or they should have done when he was still on good terms. Or they should have stopped playing from the beginning and got it right the first time. 
Sometimes, you know, when a, when a man really decides to leave a woman or, or sometimes even when a man is unfaithful to a woman and cheats on a woman, that's when she realized how valuable this man is to her, as crazy as it seems. That's when she's like, oh, no, I can't play with him. Hold up. We'll see, okay? Uh, uh, eventually, time will, to, will let us know what goes on with this situation. But again, I want to let y'all know, everybody who was dragging me, all them women who was dragging me, Y'all owe me an apology. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.